sleeping on a pillow or what does it matter in general you want to have you see how the distance from your your head in the bed is only a few inches yeah when you're on your back that's the case so you can have a pillow that has more support for the neck okay but ultimately the head almost has like a pocket for the head uh -huh. where it's only a few inches off the bed okay when you're on your side it's different you right. need to have enough distance to cover from your shoulder to your ear so you want space between that ear? So you have to have a pillow that both has a position for you when you're on your back and then sort of has a larger area for you when you're up on your shoulder. Okay, I'm a stomach sleeper. That's bad. That's a worst thing. <laughs> it is. That's I, the only I way can't you can get sleep. comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> you basically force rotation and then. Yeah. So far you've held though, so you're beating the system. Yeah, I mean, I feel good considering yeah. that I was trying to figure out how to sleep all night. I really think that sleep, you know, stress is, is an obvious one for what knocks people out, but mm -hmm. sleep is sort of a uh, secret, huge issue. How people sleep and the, and the kind of movements they do while they sleep. Yeah. The neck is so vulnerable while you're sleeping. You know, you move and you move spasm or something, mm -hmm. you just wake up in pain, you don't remember what happened. So overall, what have you been noticing? Um, just some tightness in my neck, but like you said, that just guarding and yep. muscle tension, nothing crazy, but cool. just that, you know. You're saying you feel better, it's just sort of like soft enough. I feel, yeah, I feel normal, like I'm not... I don't feel like it's always on my mind, like my neck hurts, my neck hurts, my neck hurts. I'll take some Motrin and then I won't think about my neck, like I haven't had to do that at all. Good. I feel a lot better, my allergies feel better, I don't have as much sinus pressure as I did before, yeah. so. Good. Any, I felt great the first couple of days and then yeah. I kind of went back to... Any idea what what was feeding the sinuses? Or is it Not really. I mean, I typically realize that that's one of my symptoms when, You're I, out. when I'm out. Got yeah. it. I mean, I do usually have seasonal allergies, so maybe just pollen or flowers or, you know. But when you're out, you get it, and then when you're in, it'll yeah. clear up. Yeah, usually. Even if it takes a little bit. When I, when I first came in here, I noticed that that was one of the first symptoms that went away. Like, I, I've always had allergies, but that was one thing that I noticed went away after I got adjusted the first time. It makes sense, because your skull's going to be congested yeah. if that's out. Yeah. So you, your, your head can't properly drain, and yeah. your sinuses are where it sits. I wish there was more awareness for what I do. To where how, like when Jerry came in today, the first question he's asking is, wait, this is upper cervical? No, I have like back issues. But releasing his atlas to open up his whole posture is the main, like the primary thing he needs to avoid the world that he's in right now, where he's looking at injections, more drugs or like surgically fusing his back which he doesn't want to do so because of lack of awareness he's you know that that guy basically has walked away from the only thing that i believe is going to be able to really help him long term where it should be just part of cultural you know yeah you go get your atlas check your back is tight because it's twisted. Your whole body's twisting because you had a neck injury. It should be just sort of common knowledge, like how people know that if you have a tooth problem, you need to go, yeah, you got to go talk to the dentist. You got to do this. There's just this lack of awareness that these postural asymmetries, these problems with the low back, these issues where the body's twisting and guarding, and that it's because of your neck. And it shouldn't be that way. It's frustrating, man. I feel like I have my... Like, I don't know how to say it in English. Do you know what that is? No, what does that mean? It's like your... Second wind or something? <laughs> no, like, um, like kind of, I feel like I have my life back. Cool. Like, good. just feel good. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Let's play better than second wind. Okay. 
I'm just like sleeping better and I think that's like the biggest thing. <laughs> um, and yeah, like I am able to do stuff, like easy stuff without feeling like that discouraged and I just feel like happy because I'm not hurting. <laughs> The nerve pain, yeah, I've had like a tight neck issue. I've had like the shoulder oh. pain. That's been at least, it comes and goes um, in the past probably 10 years. Oh, okay. I was, I was goofing off and I was doing a handstand up against the wall yep. and my arms just kind of gave out and I came straight down yeah. on top of my head and probably within about five minutes, everything started getting real tight and then my neck was just like locked sideways. Yep. There you go, man. Well, you had motorcycle accidents, huh? I did, yeah. Sure. And I keep getting injured. Like, I'm usually healthy, and I like to go to the gym, and, like, I haven't been there in four months now. Yep. I, I, I can't do anything at all. Your right. head and eyes are always level. You don't, you know, walk like this. Right. So, as soon as that's in a, in a displaced relationship, your body will instantly tighten up in your low back and pull your whole body and contort you. That's so, it. your low back baseline will be tight. Everything you're explaining is like, what I've been feel? looking for this for the longest time. It's honestly. your atlas. That's what it is. It's your atlas. So until this is corrected, you'll be in a state, we call it body imbalance, where the body is always slightly contorted. Yeah, I have that just, that box stature. And that's your baseline. So when you go to work out and you load weight onto that system that's faulty, mm -hmm. it's going to be very easy to irritate aggravate. Right. You can still do things. Stretching can sometimes help, relaxing what's tight, but as soon as you're back up in gravity again and your body has to keep the eyes level, it's level, it's going to settle back in again. Okay. And you're going to build that up, those yeah. pressures. Most likely there's some right head tilt there and that's why the body's pulling so tight on the left. Okay. Usually. I just thought my left side was stronger all this time. Yeah, right. You are out of alignment. I also have like, I've had this TMJ issue for the longest time. And that's always coming and gone too. Do you understand why? Because of being out of alignment? So, I totally get the mechanics behind it. Your skull is an amalgamation of bones. It's one big structure. When you say TMJ, that's just how your jaw articulates with the skull. Okay. So if there's nothing inherently wrong with your, like, deformed with your joint. Okay. It's just a joint. Yeah. So, if the head tilts though, now the relationship that your jaw is going to have with your skull is no longer biomechanically sound. Mm -hmm. So when you open your mouth, and you, it's not going to track and slide symmetrically, there's going to be some amount of stretching and compression because it's asymmetric now. Does that oh make sense? Gosh, yeah. Yeah. So but, instead of like messing with your TMJ, you want to get the head straight. Okay. Yeah, that would be incredible because it's like, I can't even, it's hard for me to even chew. Let's get his Atlas plane line. So this is really steep, so I'm going to end up taking an S2 in time. C2. You're there, you're ready to get better. Absolutely. You have to have the atlas um, repositioned and then stay like that consistently over time okay. for you to get the most or anything out of some of these secondary rehabs. Gotcha. Cool. cool. Awesome. We get rolling? Well, actually, I've gotten worse since I've seen you. Okay. Now, <laughs> it's good, right? <laughs> yeah. Now my left leg's going numb a little bit. I think you had mentioned that last time you were yep. asking me if it was. And actually, it far as the you jinxed me. Uh, I put that juju on your head. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. You're welcome. <laughs> Most of what you will feel, your head will be on the headpiece. This is the least comfortable part of this whole thing. Uh, nothing's going to come out and like poke you or uh, you'll, 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 a click is what will come out. But the table is actually going to be moving around. Influencing that shoulder, right? The headpiece will be influencing the head. Everything back towards symmetry. And then the last thing that happens is you'll hear this instrument click, and that will release that head and neck back into the proper position. And you'll notice that feels a whole lot different in there, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't feel that nerve feeling. Exactly. No. You're not out. But you are just a little bit grumpy. Mm -hmm. 
that band right there. Mm-hmm. Let that just fall. Good. Rotate a little right. Yep. And just let go. I'm not going to mess with you besides that. It softened up a little bit. Watermelons! <laughs> <laughs> so cute! And look! It's got buttonies in the back. Okay, don't open it. Don't I open it. I love this one. It's so cute. Oh my god. It's a, does that go with the other one? Good badges. Yeah, so these cute. are... Uh, Watermelon shorts. These are like Lululemon for baby. Stretching pants. <laughs> you could do yoga. Ruffle butts. So cute. You love ruffle butts. I know, I do. Ruffle butt. They Thumper. didn't wait for the gender reveal. Thumper. Blue. Oh, it's a girl shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Thumper. She's so cute. That's cool. So, maybe. No, throw it away. It's unicorns. <laughs> <laughs> Sunday I had another headache and it would go away. So I don't know if it's something I ate Friday or what. So Why we don't have a good reason? Monday? I don't know. I, I didn't you always can. I didn't like it too much. You, you absolutely can. I so, work for you. I don't know if I'm out of the line. Like I went golfing this weekend. So I'm like... Do you golf often? No. I'm awful. So like... So... <laughs> <laughs> Let me check you. Okay. <laughs> Yesterday you didn't have headaches, right? So yeah, I've been fine all week. Hey Renee, you want to borrow a baby for like a week? <laughs> We're so... <laughs> Stephanie, when she's so happy all the time. And just yeah, smiling. she's great. The side a little bit, this way. And that way? Not as much tilt as that. And then... Oh, say hi. Say hi. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. What is that? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, because you can see her. She can see her reflection. <laughs> yeah. Yay. Yay, look. <laughs> Get your neck checked. Stop making people around you crazy. It's beautiful. And then the corn.